Hello friends, this video on solutions part 13 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let's see some application of Henry's law. We have seen the solubility of gas and liquid. And let's see the application of Henry law. So Henry law told what? Henry law straight away told that the solubility of gas in liquid in liquid is directly proportional to pressure. Correct. So there are a lot of applications for Henry law. The first one, as I told, the Coca-Cola bottle or the soda bottle. So to increase the solubility of carbon dioxide in this uh, soda bottle, what we do is when we pack the soft drinks, it is packed at a high pressure. This is packed at high pressure. So when at high pressure, what happens is the carbon dioxide is dissolved in this bottle. And the moment you open it, you see the bubbles. That is one application. The next is the scuba divers. So this I'll explain later. The scuba divers, they actually dive and understand uh, the whole ocean. They dive at a very, very low height, it's very, very deep. I mean, they, they go very deep inside ocean and seas. So they go at a very high pressure actually. Explain you why. If you see this uh, uh, scene, this is where we stay most of the time. This is the place where we stay, right? This is the normal sea level or uh, land level. If you climb at the mountain, you'll see that the pressure is low. Why? And if you go deep inside the ocean, you'll see you have high pressure. Do you think why it is? See, the pressure is, think of this. You, this is you, right? On this, if I put a 1 kg of mass, you'll feel some pressure. If instead of 1 kg, I'll put some 20 kg mass, you'll feel more pressure. If I'll put 100 kg of iron, you'll feel more pressure. Same thing. It is we who are here. Correct. The pressure we feel here is because of all this mass of air. The moment we are here, the pressure we feel on our head is because of this mass, which is less. If we are here, if we are here, the pressure we should feel on our head is because of this mass plus this mass. So obviously when you go down, you feel more pressure because this extra water is giving you more pressure. If you are here, you feel less pressure. Why? Because the here more air was giving you pressure, here less air. Correct? So with that you understand the moment you go out, up, you climb the hills, you feel low pressure. And this, you go deep down the ocean, you find high pressure zone. I'll explain the uh, scuba driver how it works, but this Henry Law is helpful there also. The third was uh, the mountainers. At a high altitude, the mountains, the pressure is less. Why? As I told just now, the partial pressure of oxygen is less. Correct? Now, with this, there is a low concentration of oxygen in the blood. How? I told the solubility of a gas in liquid is exactly proportional to the partial pressure of that gas. So the partial pressure of oxygen is pressure is, is less here. Correct? Because only this many oxygen is creating this partial pressure. If the pressure is less, the solubility will go down. So that means the solubility of blood in this on a body, because blood is what? Blood is what? Liquid. Right? And this gas is my oxygen. So the solubility of oxygen in the blood will decrease. If the solubility of oxygen in the blood will decrease, the lower amount of oxygen in the blood will make the climber weak and this climber will not be able to think properly and he'll uh, develop a symptom called anoxia. Anxiety, anoxia. 
Correct. Let me not discuss the scuba driver thing. As I've already told, the pressure at which uh, these scuba drivers work is high pressure. Right? This is high pressure. High pressure. So this is high pressure zone. And this is, let's suppose, at the top of this sea. Here we are getting relatively low pressure. Or here you get normal atmospheric pressure. Right? When it comes out. This is the bottom of the ocean because the ocean is very deep. Right? This is the bottom of ocean. Ocean. And this is my... Here we have air. This is where we leave actually. Yeah. So, here we have very high pressure. Now, when, he, when the scuba driver comes down, when the scuba driver comes down, you see, the pressure is very high. Since the pressure is very high, the dissolved oxygen and nitrogen gas is very high. Correct? This blood vessels, if you see the vessels, in the blood, it will dissolve more oxygen and nitrogen. More oxygen, more nitrogen and more other gases also. Right? More, more gases will be dissolved in the blood. Correct? I'll show you once again. The scuba driver comes down and right? because of high pressure here, right? more and more nitrogen, oxygen or other gases get dissolved in the blood. And that is not good. That is not good because more and more nitrogen in the uh, blood is not good. That is first thing, right? Because the moment you have nitrogen is what? Nitrogen is toxic. So more toxic thing in the blood is not good. That is first thing, right? So I'll write here. More nitrogen in blood. At a bottom of ocean is toxic right or at uh, high pressure at high pressure high pressure is nothing but the bottom of ocean right the moment it comes down the moment the scuba driver comes down at the high pressure it goes down the solubility of gas that is solubility of nitrogen oxygen all this increase in the blood and this nitrogen is toxic and more nitrogen or more toxic gases dissolve in the blood of the human that is not good Second thing is, when the scuba driver goes back, goes back, right, it comes back, what happens is, the dissolved nitrogen tries to come out in the form of bubbles. You see once again, when it tries to come back, the dissolved gases tries to escape in the forms of bubble. So these bubbles, these bubbles will block capillaries. capillaries and it will create a medical emergency and this is called bends you can say disease or medical emergency it is very painful a person may die also it is life threatening actually correct so let me explain this once again scuba driver goes down the ocean because of due to high pressure more nitrogen gas and more other gas also get dissolved this is not good the moment this guy comes up these uh, gases comes out as bubbles and these bubbles block the capillaries of human and that is also not good that gives a medical critical uh, situation called pens. it is like threatening so to avoid this what we do is to avoid this uh, blocks uh, to, to avoid the bubbles blocking the capillaries and also high amount of nitrogen toxic nitrogen what they do is they go with a tank this is air tank Right, and this air tank has air that is filled with helium, nitrogen, and oxygen. So helium is almost eleven point seven percent, nitrogen is almost fifty six point two percent, and oxygen is thirty two percent, normal percent uh, which we have in our land. Right? Because human is used to this kind of percentage. So that's how the Henry's law is helping scuba drivers to lead a happy life. Correct.
Now let's talk about aquatic water. So as I have told that the temperature increase will decrease the solubility of gas in liquid in this case oxygen in water and you see uh, the boiling water oxygen gas comes out so if the due to global warming you know global warming the temperature of the earth is increasing the temperature of the sea water is also increasing since the temperature of the sea water is increasing more and more oxygen comes out of this and comes in air now with this the sea water is deprived of oxygen if the sea water is deprived of oxygen the aquatic life inside the sea water is deprived of oxygen and it is not good for them so it is actually having an adverse impact on aquatic life thank you visit examfear.com to watch more videos attempt free online tests get free study materials find tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again